Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony, and I'm here to review a movie that I saw last night. Yeah, last night. It's a holiday film from 2002 starring Adam Sandler. That movie is Eight Crazy Nights. Now, a lot of people don't really remember this movie. I'm actually surprised. Like, some people remember it, but this movie is, like, really hated, even by Adam Sandler fans, like, diehard Adam Sandler fans. But honestly, after watching it, I don't get it. I really don't. It's a really uh, funny movie. Uh, yes, it's, it's weird. It really is weird. But it's a very it's a fun movie. The movie is basically about this guy named Davey who's kind of a a screw up. He's you know a drunk. You know he's basically hates everyone around him in his town. He's always getting in trouble with the law, and he gets in too much trouble in the law, and he has to go to court, but then there's this old man, who his name is Whitey, who kind of sounds like Carl Weezer if he was from New York. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, he sounds like a, a Brooklyn Carl Weezer. Like, I mean, he's voiced by Adam Sandler, but he sounds so much like Rob Paulson. It's so uncanny. Uh, that's the That's him right there. And it, he lives with his sister, and you know who's also voiced by M. Sandler, if I'm correct. And uh, basically, he has to do community service. Uh, Davy has to do community service, service, and you know, basically, he uh, has to do good for the town, and uh, so he doesn't get arrested. And if he does screw up, he'll get sentenced to ten years in pr in jail. So. Yeah, it's a, a very fun... It's When I saw this movie, I thought it was going to be more of like an adventure film. Like, I don't know why, but... Like, more of like Davy and Sandler's character kind of going on an adventure. But honestly, it was funny as it was. And it's actually a musical as well. Yeah, like, it's got a lot of good songs. Like, one of the songs on here is sung by Whitey, the old man. Uh... He, it's a song called uh, It's Technical Foul. Check that song out. Um, yeah, it's um, it's very good. Uh, it also, in the story, you know, uh, Davy's uh, high school sweetheart also, you know, comes back. You know, he's a, she's a single mom, you know, with a kid, and you know, he kind of like tries to. He sees her, and you know, it's just like. He wants, like, during the middle of the film, he, like, kind of gets along with this, with the kid, you know, the daughter of his high school sweetheart, and, you know, it's a very, very interesting movie. It's pretty wholesome at times as well, I have to say. Uh, if you want to know, I'll show you the, the disc in the manual. There's the disc in the manual. But yeah, uh, this movie came out in 2002. In my opinion, honestly, it kind of feels like a TV special, almost. Like, it feels like, almost like, like, I know it's a theatrical film, but it almost feels like when you watch it, it was sort of made for, like, TV, like HBO or something. Like, it's got that feel to it. It's pretty short, too. It's only, like, 76 minutes, so. It's, like... It almost feels like a special, like the length of a special, like an hour-long special, maybe, instead of a film. Uh, but it's still a really good movie, and there's a lot of jokes in here that, you know, it's got dirty humor. It's got, like, adult jokes, but they're adult jokes that are, you know, if you're in the right mindset, you'll find them really funny. Uh, but, yeah... I just wanted to talk about this movie because not a lot of people really know about it. Like, on the list of, like, all the Adam Sandler films, like, this movie is, like, kind of like one of the lesser-known ones he's done. And it's a cartoon as well, so... The movie, you know... I mean, it's not as forgotten as, like, say, man over going overboard or whatever, but... Yeah. I kind of wish this movie got a sequel in a way. I really do. This should have gotten a sequel. Uh, you could actually get this on Amazon for very cheap. 
but it's a really good one. I highly recommend it. Yeah, if you're in the right mindset and if you love Adam Sandler, then it's a great movie to watch, especially during this time in the holidays. Uh, I also forgot to mention it's partially also a ha Hanukkah movie, you know, because the main character, you know, celebrates Hanukkah, you know, or at least he did when he was a kid, but there's a part that kind of makes him lose his, you know, holiday spirit, but I'll let you watch the movie for yourself to find that out. Anyway, hope you enjoy my f movie review of A Crazy Nights. Uh, this is actually my very first movie review, so hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.